Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Tonight's topic is proof of keys. Um, as you saw in my video intro, give me the keys. Um, so tomorrow marks, well, actually it is tomorrow, proof of keys. So what is proof of keys? Proof of keys is kind of a holiday in the cryptocurrency um, domain that everyone should go to the exchange that they keep their coins on and withdraw their coins to a different wallet like a QT or something else. So as you can see, um, the biggest news was hit BTC was blocking certain accounts of certain people. Now, I logged into my HitBTC and I've been using HitBTC for ages. And I, let's see, let's go over to the deposit screen. I've only got five bucks in HitBTC, so not a big baller here. Um, when I hit withdraw, it allows me to withdraw. Now, what I did notice, I did pull some Tron out the uh, um, yesterday, and um, it was a very high transaction fee, which was kind of unexplainable. Um, but anyways, back to proof of keys. So, hit, basically, proof of keys is because of like Mount Gox. What happened is it's kind of like a run on the bank, but not really. Basically, it's testing the liquidity of exchanges by everyone pulling their coins out of the exchange at the same time. If the exchange is not liquid, meaning the number of deposits match what is supposed to be in the wallets, then there'll be a problem. So preemptively, if a exchange freezes um, customers withdraws it is very suspicious that the exchange is running some fraudulent activities or does not actually have the coins um, that they say they do or they say that your coins are in there when they're actually not so this is going to be a very interesting event tomorrow to see what happens with hit BTC um, I mean there's two ways you can look at it in some ways um, if you know the people are locked out of their account for a day or two um, it shouldn't be a big deal um, going over to Twitter and checking out what um, hit is actually saying on Twitter alright so we're over here on Twitter checking out hit BTC's feed um, let's see phase a lot updates so the only news that they're actually posting or responding about is that they did some lot updates which I did see which basically um, made that you can um, activate orders which are much smaller than what had been in the past um, which prevents dust um, I am not seeing anything of them let's see uh, transfers yeah, so it's just they're just kind of playing it low key and not really saying anything. But one thing's for certain: because of what happened at Mount Gox, it is a reminder that you should always make sure that you keep the majority of your crypto in cold storage, offline, with your private keys in a safe location, and you just won't have these problems that you're seeing in the market today but we're gonna see how this one um, works out tomorrow and uh, we'll see if hit BTC gets taken down um, like I said I hope not because personally I've always liked hit BTC in the sense that I've liked the trading interface and you know they have had their mishaps in the um, past but you know overall I'm I've been pretty happy with it. Um, but anyways, check it out. Make sure you have access to your crypto. Get those private keys. Get that cold storage. This is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking. Mm -hmm.